Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do this recipe box with AngularJS using a code pen and free code camp. The things that you can do is to edit and delete a recipe and of course add one. You can find the user stories in free code camp and uh, the code will be available in the description box. I will leave a link both to my CodePen and to my GitHub account. For this project I also inspired from another one that I found on GitHub that I would also share in the description box. And these are the user stories that our project is doing. So I have already set up my CodePen account. I'm using SCSS and I'm using a mix with Bootstrap and Materialize. And then in JavaScript I'm also using Bootstrap, AngularJS of course, and jQuery for the accordion part. Alright, save and close and um, I think that we are ready to start this beautiful recipe box. I'm going to start with the HTML. So first of all, you'll need an ng-app and I will name mine recipe box. The ng-app directive tells AngularJS that this is the root element on the Angular application. All Angular applications must have a root element. And then of course you need the ng-controller, which in this case is recipe box controller. The controller directive defines the controller. So then we are going to continue with the class name container and inside there we will build everything else. We are going to have a class row and we will part this row in two parts. One call x as 8 and another one will be 4. In the first part we will see all the, all the recipes and we will have the functions of edit and delete and in the right panel we will have the add function. So inside the row I'm going to start typing all the left part. You'll need a UL class collapsible and data collapsible accordion. Later in the JavaScript we will use we will write the functionality for these parts. And of course you will need an ng repeat. Ng repeat will repeat every time uh, you have a new recipe. So you will need recipe in recipe list. And I will use filter track by index. Filter formats a subset of items from an array are added to directives like ngrepeat by using the pipe character followed by a filter. And then expression is written inside double braces. So in this case I'm going to have a recipe title and the class is going to be collapsible heater and then recipe ingredients where the class will be collapsible body. And once again I would like to mention that if you can't see very clear everything in my code I will leave a link in the description box so you can find everything there. Alright, now I need the ng click. I'm going to write here two functions. The first one will be edit recipe dollar $index and this will be our edit button. All the functionality will be written in the JavaScript part. And then I need another one click, which will be the delete recipe. And the name, of course, will be delete. And I think that we are almost done with the left part. And now we are going to continue with the right part. We will have a column of four. And inside there, I will start writing all the classes. First, I'm going to have a class card, and inside this, I'm going to have a card content. Here, 
here I'm using the materialize classes so you'll see later that I won't read a lot of CSS code I'm going to have a new recipe and then form and you submit add recipe the add recipe is also going to be a JavaScript function that we will write later div class input field and I'm actually going to do this two times because I'm going to have two fields one will be for the name and another one will be for the ingredients so you will need input type equals text and you model new recipe and placeholder name and you should do the same for the ingredients now remember that the ng model is very important and you will also use it in the JavaScript. You don't have to use placeholder or maybe even type, but of course you need to use the ng model. The ng model directive binds the value of HTML controls like input, select or text area to application data. You can bind the value of an input field to a variable created in Angular. Now for the CSS, I'm going to have a body and inside there, box sizing and this image will be our uh, background I will also leave this image in the description box and I'm going to add some properties most of them will be center and actually the CSS is quite simple so you will need a background size cover mean height uh, 100vh display flex, justify content center align items center text align once again center and font family you can use whatever you like I sometimes use Arial sometimes Verdana or Futura but you can use whatever you like and after that I'm gonna have it before and after a property box sizing and then it will be inherit so every property from the HTML is going to be inherited great okay now let's continue with the container and I'm going to add a background color I've already found the background color that I like and I'm going to be use um, I'm going to use RGBA and the A mm, controls the opacity so I don't want to be a standard color but I want to have some opacity so we'll be using 130, 138, 117 and 0 0.4 now I just have a recipe button with a button top 20 pixel and a card with background black, water radius 50%, color white, font size 1.2 and inside there I'm going to have a button color black and that's it but, uh, yes, let's try it for the JavaScript, the accordion and then we're going to continue a little bit with CSS because I think that I forgot to write something and my image <laughs> is looking quite weird now the accordion part is very very simple and here uh, is where we're using the jQuery so you'll have document ready function and inside there collapsible dot collapsible and that's it alright let me find Yes, that's it. You should be. It should be VH because it stands for a uh, vertical height. Now everything looks nice. Well, let's continue with the JavaScript part, and we will be able to see all the functionality. So I'm going to start writing var up Angular dot module. So Angular JS modules define applications, whereas controllers control the application.
our controller is recipe box controller and then we have function scope when you make a controller in AngularJS you pass the scope object as an argument when adding properties to the scope object in the controller the view I mean the HTML gets access to these properties in the view you do not use the prefix scope but you just refer to a property name in double braces I'm going to start creating the initial recipe list from the local host. Scope.saved equals local storage item. And then we have the recipe box. And now if a local storage has a value for my key, grab that. If not, create a new local storage item. And that's how local storage works. So you should have scope dot list equals local storage dot get item ms equals rice box different than no. And then inside here we're going to create a JSON object. JSON format an object to a JSON string. So JSON dot parse scope dot saved, and you can write your own uh, object. For me, it will be a pizza with ham and cheese. And let's create another one. Hmm. Okay, it will be a cake. Yes, I like cakes. And the ingredients, well, I don't know all the ingredients, but let's say it's just uh, eggs and milk. Alright, I think that I have a mistake here. Uh, of course, here. Oh my god, that's so wrong. Let me fix that. And of course, it's the quotations. It should be like this. Alright. Okay. That was super wrong. Now I think everything works fine. And I think that we are able to continue with our next functionality. Just copy and paste uh, the local storage. So this could probably be in a function on its own with how many times it's called but it's just one line so I didn't bother and I just copy and paste it. Now we want to allow the user to add a recipe. So I'm going to use function and I will name it add recipe the same name I used in the HTML code so I have function, uh, open brackets and then I have an if statement so I have if scope dot new recipe different than no and scope dot uh, new ingredients is different than no then scope dot recipe list push title, uh, scope new recipe and ingredients, scope new ingredients and um, in that way you need to give both a title and ingredients. So if you try to give only a title or only ingredients then you won't have a new recipe. And then I'm going to continue with uh, the local storage. And then I'm gonna add a scope to new recipe equals new, and the same uh, thing goes for ingredients. And I added these two lines because um, if you don't add them, then every time you're going to add something, you're going to have the previous value. So with the with the null, everything looks empty. I'm going to continue with uh, delete. So we're going to allow a user to delete a recipe. 
I'm going to write another function with the name delete recipe and again the name is from the HTML code so inside there we want to show confirm alarm box alert box and when user confirms it cuts the recipe out of the array and then updates the local storage so I'm going to have an if statement and confirm this recipe is going to be deleted scope.jsp list splice index 1 and with the splice and the scope recipe list we delete an action so let's continue with the edit which will be our last function uh, scope.edit recipe equals function index so let's say that we grab the recipe by the index of the array and then display the recipe's ingredients in a prompt that allows the user to change ingredients if they hit cancel it returns a null response so we will check for that also we have a variable name ingredients equals scope to recipe list index dot ingredients and another variable named result with the prompt edit the ingredients and if result is different than null then scope to recipe list index dot ingredients equals result and the local storage once again so now I think that we are ready let me check if everything is correct okay let's test it we can edit we can add all right uh, we can add something okay we can see it very clear let's add another thing okay my examples are not great but uh, I think that you can see the point so that's it guys thank you very very much for watching if you have any question or any comments please leave it in the box below and uh, thank you for watching